Uh, hi guys, so this is another viewer requested um, video, uh, so they want they want me to read the first appearance, or the Sandman story, so I'm going to read the first appearance of the Sandman. Now this isn't the Marvel Comics Sandman, this is the uh, DC Comics with the, who came before, I think he, he first appeared in 1939. This is Wesley Dodd's Sandman. Um... So there's a Superman story and a Satara story as well, and I'm going to read those eventually too. Um, these other two, Butch the Pup, I don't, I don't know what any of this is. But but yeah, I, I really like Sam as design, it's really creepy. And there's a comic called um, Sandman Mystery Theater in the 90s, and it's, apparently it's very, very good. Um, I've only seen parts of it though, I've only read parts of it. So, uh, but eventually one day I will read, I, I will read that one day. Um, I, I'm going to focus on the Golden Age comics first, though, before I do that. But anyway, so yeah, I'll, I'll just meet you back. Let's... Okay, so here's the Sandman uh, by Larry Dean. Weird figure of the night, garbed in his mask and cloak. His guns being s bring sleeping his deeds. Justice in a world of injustice. He is wanted by police forces of two continents. Yet he has never committed a crime. A modern Robin Hood. Friend of the afflicted. Yeah, I'm, I, I made a ver- Or I have a, I have a version of the Sandman, the Wesley Dodd Sandman. So basically my version is he's he's like Ghost Rider. He's like a DC version, except like... He, he's basically, before he became Sandman, he was like a psychopath billionaire he was like a psychopath he was like a really really bad person but then um uh, the 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 sand when he died he made like a deal where he he would work as the um he he would work as like the minion or or sort of like what ghost Rider did with mephisto instead but with with dream um from the actual like the 1990s sand 80s sandman the character dream like the god he became like his um his avenger or whatever on earth that was sort of like my idea of it like he was in he was sort of like a herald of um dream the whole time and, and he was also given all like a hundred years of uh immortality that was one that was my i made i think i made that up i mean i made it up i never wrote it down though but i made it up if so, if someone were to remake the Sandman, that that would be a good way to do it. But a high executive of the Dodds Bessing Steel Corporation. Hello, Wesley. This is Everts. Yes, the plans for the new government rig are already. I'll meet you at the World's Fair, in the Steel Building, in an hour. Wesley Dodds, heir to the Dodds Bessing billionaires, billions multi millionaire pay playboy. An inventor of the new ray gun, deadly tribute to modern science. I think I, I want to make his voice like creepy. In an hour, eh? Well, the model will be exhibited at the fair. I promised. But the plans. Everts isn't wise in this, I'm afraid. The model will be enough. Why is Everts bringing the plans? Hello, my boy. Glad to see you. I meant to ask, do you think the plan? Do you think it is safe to bring the plans with you? There are spies, perhaps. No fear. The government men are to meet us here. They want the plans. Here are they now. Dodds, I am Henry of the U.S. Secret Service. I suggest we meet here to look over the plans. Glad to know you, sir, Mr. Efforts. President of the Steel Corporation brought them along. Uh, do you th think they're safe? They are safe, though. This is this room is escape-proof. There are no windows, no doors, except for the one you got entered. A military guard waits to escort me to Washington. Mister Dodds will explain them. He is an inventor, or the inventor. Sorry. Wesley Dodds explains the intricate design of his new ray gun. So you see, through the enormous force created to break matter, 
and those structural elements. It derives with great power. Yet always as he talks, Wesley feels that queer intuition of danger. And by this arrangement, we can provide sufficient balance. Apparently, carelessly, he knocks the key plan to the floor. Completing his explanation, Wesley replaces the rest of the plans in the portfolio. Um, oh yeah, another thing I should say, the version of Wesley Dodds, like I made, like he's completely bald. Like his eyebrows are like shaved off and like he's completely bald. I just, I, I, I think that would make him even creepier. He, he's sort of like a combination. My version is like sort of a combination between Punisher and Ghost Rider. Sort of, because he's not like a moral person. He's, he's just like a... I don't know, he's, he's just doing... He's basically just uh, killing criminals. It's later than I thought. Dark outside. Your talk was wonderful. But no one can understand fully without these plans. I would. Suddenly, the indirect lighting effects black out. Someone snatched the grip from my hands. Must have gone after the door. After him. Wesley, you felt this way was coming. This was coming. I'm heartbroken. Come, let's follow. No use. The man who had brains and nerve enough to plan this theft wouldn't be, won't be caught with, by running after him with a gun. I suppose you are right. There's nothing we can do now. Later, alone in his laboratory, Wesley removes the key plan from an inner coat pocket. The darkness let me pick it up. Without this, the other drawings are valueless until an expert studies them. Meanwhile, this key plan will rest safely here, and... And the Sandman lives again. First, a visit to the government archives. My conscience is at ease. Since in my country's interest... I steal into these hallowed walls. So this is the real George Henry. My friend of, his, of this afternoon was a clever impostor. But where could the true Henry be? Except, yes, he must be in the steel building, tied somewhere. A shadow flits swiftly among the fair buildings. If this, if the real Henry is anywhere... He'll be here. It fits perfectly. Ah, uh, you are Henry of the Secret Service. Yes, man. Uh, thank heavens you come. But who are you? You're the Sandman. Sorry, sorry about that. Right. And I want your help. Who is your devil? Who tied you and stole your rain gun plans from Everett's and Dodds this afternoon? Oh. Mr. Sandman, I've hunted for you often and failed. You're supposed to be an outlaw, and now apparently you're helping me. Come, fellow, who tied you? I'm not sure I should tell you, but the speed is essential, and the government agents will be slow to contact. Mr. Sandman, the man who browned me, represented himself as me, is an international spy, Boris Leland. His yacht is off. In a minute, Sandman is speeding from the fairgrounds in his powerful car, and soon is on the dark shore of the Long Island Sound, opposite a sleek yacht. Okay. <clears throat> yes, sir. Ah, uh -huh, my friends just said this afternoon. Inside the cabin, the Sandman sees. But the key plan, it's gone. Where? How? We've been duped. Quick. Hook up the relay. Get him on the wire. Right, Chief. Hello, yeah, this is Leland. Who are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Give us the double cross? The key plan's gone. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. You'll be here in an hour? Right. Now I am really am curious. Who did Leland call? I'll wait before I play my hand. Silently, unseen, the Sandman climbs to the crow's nest. As good as place as any to wait out the hour.
Later, the roar of an approaching power broke, both shatters the deathly stillness. Here comes the unknown. Maybe I'll get the brains behind this after all. The Batman, there's, there's the Sandman, I said the, okay. The Sandman drops to the deck. Where are you going, buddy? A dose of sleep will do you good. And the rest of the crew, yes. Play safety first, Sandman. The Sandman leases insignia, a fine curtain of sand. And now my Kirk, my coast is all clear. Leland and this unknown should have talked things over by now. Gentlemen, Everts, you. Who, who are you? How do you know me? Yes, who are you? I, gentlemen, am sometimes known as the Sandman. I understand you have thieved plans for a new ray gun. I, the Sandman. Get him, or everything is lost. I think everything is lost, gentlemen. Terrified, Everts attempts an escape. If the plan's safe, I'll have my accounting with Everts. Everts, why did you betray Wesley Dodds? Uh, I needed money badly. I was stealing from the firm. The plans meant a million dollars to me. I dared not copy them. It would lead me to my door. Or, or lead it to my door. This seemed the easier way, and the safer for me. I hate to do this, Severts, you poor fool. But you must pay. There, that dose will hold you. Back on shore, the Sandman starts his powerful car. <clears throat> now for a phone booth. Police, you found Henry good. Tell him quarry are on the riot. Ice, yes, he'll know. Sorry, ice, yes, he'll know. But back on the sound, the Sandman assures himself the capture is made. Now, if the Sandman mails the plans, it will look better in the papers for Wesley Dodds in his mansion. And so, till another time, a due to the Sandman, next day. So Henry of the Secret Service calls the Sandman a miracle worker, eh? I'll have to give him a call. Henry, Dodd's speaking. Read the morning papers. Wanted to let you know I've got the plans back, intact. Mailed to me by the Sandman. Yes, they're all safe. Later. And so, gentlemen, at the... At, and so, gentlemen, the model will be exhibited at the fair. No one can understand it's working without the plans, and they're protected now, forever. And thus the ray gun, uh, came to ray gun to be safely exhibited at the World's Fair, its plans secure in the government vaults in Washington. The same man must be a great guy, don't you think so? A great guy? Well, maybe so. In the end... So yeah, that's, that's that story. Um, again, I'm going to read the other two um, World's uh, Fair comics stories. Um, if you guys like this video, uh, you could like, comment, or subscribe. That'd be appreciated. Um, if you want me to read a specific comic, just let me, down, let me know down in the comments down below. And uh, let's see you guys later.